Hello everyone and welcome back to another 13 Nights of Halloween. I'm here with another guest, brand new to the channel, never been here before, though his name has been mentioned across various times. I think actually Neo mentioned you in the first 13 Nights with him. It's Rick Fox. From, hey guys, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, known writer and also a host from Opinionated Podcast, which I think I'll put a link <laughs> down below if you want to check that out too. Uh, they I appreciate even, that. Yeah. So we're here with The Thing, something you did not know existed, because no. <laughs> no one talks about this game, even though it was critically acclaimed at the time, based off of one of the best, arguably, could be argued the best horror movie ever made, The Thing. So this I is mean, I'd you... be very happy to argue that. Like, I, I adore that movie. <laughs> I so adore that so movie so much. It's right now the only movie, I think, that we have re reviewed twice on our podcast. <laughs> yeah, it is. I also like this, like, auto-aiming that tells you hard you get an even smaller light. Normal. That's okay. great. That's pretty good. I'm going normal. <laughs> so this is basically a uh, survival horror where you have to find the thing, but also the people that you were with will sometimes randomly also get, not randomly, but they can get infected by the thing. Oh, so, really? Okay, yes. so it's not like it's not like a set story or anything. I think it is a set story, but you also have to kind of like, because it is a PS2 game, and it was also originally released on the PS, uh, the PC, which is the um, inherently better version of this game. But because you know it's an old PC game, it's actually very hard to find because <laughs> it exists before. <laughs> oh God, they're going right. Just into jumping it. straight in. Yeah, they're just jumping right into the, <laughs> the monsters, aren't they? <laughs> oh God. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, I would be freaking out too if I saw that coming mm -hmm. up. I think I would have gotten up out of my corner personally, but you know. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a good time to shake, rattle, and roll my way out of there. <laughs> I love that, like, the thing is well known for being this, like, real slow burn horror thing, and then the game comes out and is like, nope, here's a monster right now. <laughs> Yeah, both versions of the things, both the 1950s version, which I think is just called the thing from outer space, and then mm -hmm. actual, the legit thing. Yeah, and then uh, there's there's also Who Goes There, which is the short story that it was based off of. It's also yeah. very much a slow burn. I don't know about the new movie, though, like the, the new prequel movie. That, that I have chosen not to watch that out of protest from hearing it's bad fair enough i can tell you right now that the halloween horror nights maze based off of the prequel based off the prequel of the thing was pretty all right <laughs> okay i would i would be down to try that that sounds amazing <laughs> yeah the, the it's it really helps when someone's made actual props of the things and it's going all over i love halloween horror nights for that specifically if you're a big fan of like horror things and maybe not so much like a fan of being scared or you're not you're like hard to scare yourself but you can still really appreciate the kind of decorations that they do for each house like for that sounds amazing what what like what is it is it like a theme park or something yeah at uh universal studios during halloween they have something called horror nights and during horror nights they put up horror mazes sometimes they're like their own specific theme that kind of goes around their uh um, the story that they want to build, but sometimes they're also just based off of like proper horror franchises, like the one for Halloween. They did one for Halloween, which it was like we're doing all we're doing. I think Halloween one, two, and three, and they're like, how the hell are you going to represent three? It's so different. <laughs> and then what they did was like they actually made a giant pumpkin, and you go nice. through it, and it smells like a pumpkin, and you hear like the. Dee, 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 happy, happy Halloween. <laughs> That sounds amazing. I would totally do that. That's yeah, awesome. It, it's always really fun. <laughs> Maybe uh, we hope to one day return, but every single time we've tried to come back, it's gone bad. So let me look at this tutorial. As you play through the first four levels, text pop up like this will come to the screen from time to time to explain different parts of the game. This is a tutorial for the tutorial. <laughs> you can skip them by pressing the triangle or turn them <laughs> off entirely by pressing the start button and bring up the pause menu. <laughs> this is always the... The, like mark of an excellent game <laughs> <laughs> yeah let me tell you all the systems real quick it, it was mm -hmm. a different it was a different generation you kids don't understand how what we went through <laughs> it's 40 degrees below zero in the in arctic and so whenever you're outside you'll suffer from cold and exposure meter blue at the bottom of the screen will show you how much time you'll need to temperatures begin to actually harm you and take away your health as you play the game, you can be given the objectives. These appear at the top left-hand corner of the screen and are color-coded. Green text shows that an objective is still active, and orange text means an objective that has been completed. And you can check the status of all your 
Okay. <laughs> I guess I don't get to hear <laughs> All the rest your of it. whatever. <laughs> so yeah, now now oh, we're just important. Oh, nice. Wasn't. Okay. Yeah, these are our dudes. Okay, so that button activates a flare. Hope I don't need that. Because I, <laughs> I have discarded it. Yep, looks like you only got three left now. Alright. Alright, no, I got it back. Okay. Oh, oh you got it back. But yeah, oh, there shit. you go. Okay, so X <laughs> this is weird. I can tell that this is totally a PC game that was put it onto consoles because it's like uh, the X button is my shoot button. Oh, no, that's awful. Yeah. Who would do that? <laughs> Again, like it was a different time. Mm -hmm. A time when you could get like five seconds of gameplay and then a cutscene. Oh, yeah. Back to me ASAP and I'll help you out. Okay. I'm not carrying any dead bodies back. All right. I'm locked, loaded, and ready to make shit dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like him. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> squad member communication. Your squad is made up of three different characters' classes that you can tell apart by their headgear. Soldier will always have a tough uh, camouflaged helmet on. Engineers won't go anywhere without their... Okay, there we go. Without their... Uh... Trusty cap. Trusty cap. Okay, trusty cap and medics will keep warm in the beanie with a red cross on the front. That is a lot of, like, flavor text to just give to these people real quick. The members of your squad... I know, right? <laughs> are very much alive. They blink and they fidget when you are bored and when they think for themselves. Be careful how you treat them as they are all trained veterans. Even if they are unarmed, they won't hesitate to take you down if they decide that you are acting suspiciously. Wow, so it really is like the thing. Like if I'm if I'm acting yeah. weird, they'll attack me. They will also nice. communicate with you both verbally and with the use of icons that appear over their heads. For an explanation of the overhead go to the field manual to interact with your team press the triangle the faces of any members of your squad will close enough to receive orders will appear to show you their current physical and emotional state you will also <laughs> see a group of commands in the center of the faces this is the follow or stay command highlight and press x on uh, it will tell you the squad member shown to follow you or stay where they are if you move the highlight around the screen of the box in the bottom left hand corner of the screen they will give you information on what currently have highlighted as the current available controls this Trying. is a lot of text to throw at I, everyone right at the start of your game. <laughs> again, you can tell that this was a PC as game because <laughs> they uh -huh, just like for everything. Sure. As has already been explained, <laughs> your squad mates are intellectual people. Thank you for letting me know that. And they will react to your actions based on how much they trust you. When you enter the squad menu, you will see a bar above the names of each squad member's Show the current level of trust. For any squad member, if his level of trust is in the green section, it means he trusts you and will take orders and help you throughout your mission. If his level of trust is in the orange section, it means that he doesn't trust you and won't help you, but he isn't yet convinced you're an enemy, so he won't attack you either. If this level of trust is in the red section, it means he doesn't trust you and he sees you as an enemy. I want All someone right. to cut together like the actual Thing movie and put those little bars over everyone's head. <laughs> Keith David. Orange. Yeah, exactly. It, it just starts with him orange. It never is green with Pete David. <laughs> it never is. Never is. All right, let's see. All right, we went in for here, so I'm going to assume we go through here. Yeah, that let's seems see. reasonable. Oh, wow. I love how this game is like, yeah, we're not going to like slowly introduce these concepts to you in a way that will help you remember them. We're just going to throw a boatload of text at you. Read this novel, and then maybe you'll be prepared to play our game. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. And also, this is another tell sign that it's a PC game because of this little window thing here. Mm hmm Okay. I think if I... Okay, now that I'm throwing my stuff again. <laughs> Shoot the It's a good thing that you can pick those players back up. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to assume I can't go through there for the moment, so let's go through there. Because if it was open available to me, I would be able to go through it. Right, right. This would make most sense. But actually, I'm kind of curious if I can tell them to do something. Okay, here we go. Basic junction boxes. Tips, whenever you see the hand icon, it means you can do something with the O button, so look for it when you explore environments. The junction box in front of you is a basic one. When you walk right up to the message, it will appear in the center of the screen to tell you the name of the junction box. You also see a picture of a hand and a yellow bar at the bottom of the screen that tells you that you can fix this junction box yourself. To fix it, press and hold the O button, and you'll see it light up. Uh, start to fill up. When it's full, the repair is complete. You can release the interact button and stop fixing it. All right, I got it. Oh. So that means that guy could also um, do it if I add... Oh, shit, what? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can... That PC just decided to blow up on me. <laughs> you know, that's sort of what PCs do when they try to play games, so it makes sense. 
Yeah, no, that's 100% makes sense. That guy was playing with the new Radian 380, the one that explodes mm-hmm, exactly. in 2080. Whenever this game got... feels so real. Oh, God, it's burning me. <laughs> Whenever you got low enough health or any of your squad mates are hurt bad enough, they go into a man-down state, kneeling on the floor. Be careful when a member on your squad is in this state. It is only a matter of time until they die unless they are healed. Bring your medic within close proximity to the injured person, and he will automatically heal them. The medics you meet throughout the game can heal your members, your squad with the exception of themselves, so you will need to keep an eye on your medic's health and heal them when he is injured. Okay. I can heal anyone but myself. I'm the perfect medic. Basically. All right, medic man. Where are you so you can heal me? Oh, there he is. He's healing me. Aw, that's very kind of him. Yeah, trust. It's my current meter for him. (laughs) It's a full-on trust. Oh, God, so I guess just... you guys are like exploring the remains of the Antarctica, the, like place from the first movie. Yeah, it kind of feels like that, right? It, l- it definitely looks like the Antarctica base, but after the events of the thing. If I remember right, correctly, like... in most extended media of the thing that takes place, a- play- takes place after the thing, they always mm-hmm. assume the thing has won. Because yeah, I mean. I feel like that's the most reasonable assumption. <laughs> if yeah. you're going to continue the, the, the story, you kind of have to assume that the thing won. Yeah, even in, when you're watching it, it's left kind of vague, but I guess it kind of depends on the person whether or not you think the thing has won or not. Yeah, uh, that, I, I really like that about the movie, how it is just like, you know, you, you can kind of choose how this ended, but it's not going to be happy no matter what you choose. Okay. This one requires me to actually use a uh, key. That's what it was telling me there. But yeah, that's yeah. one of the, the great things about the thing, is that it's left open, and it really is up to... Man, the movie's so good. Just, just in general, so good. go watch the thing if you've never watched the thing. Oh my god, yeah. If you have not seen the thing, like, please listen to these two randos on the internet tell you to go watch the thing. Because yeah. it's, it's easily one of the best movies, at least as far as horror goes out there. Like, yeah. it, to me, it may, might be the best horror movie. It's so... Well, well, this is a strange camera that makes me feel like there is something here that I'm not missing. I completely jumped over that because the camera <laughs> got all funky the second I went over here. Yeah. Is that maybe um, where, like, Blair was trying to create his space helicopter or whatever? Oh, yeah, maybe. Huh. I'm gonna keep following these. Currently, I'm not yeah. freezing to death, so that's good. All right, someone needs help, so I'm going to go in here and see what's up. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, the the thing is so good that its special effects were criticized for being too good. <laughs> Which is maybe the... If you ever want to say <laughs> some reviews are just right. biased towards horror movies, the horror movie with some of the greatest special effects was given a negative for being too good. <laughs> Looks like a goddamn it was too scary. I did not like being scared into horror movie. Yeah. A horror movie shouldn't be this scary. (laughs) Put it on the box. I feel like that is the ultimate review. Like, that should come with five stars. (laughs) It should. In in a proper and just world. There's the key. Okay. I wonder if I just started shooting my dudes, if they would start untrusting me. (laughs) I would would tend to assume so, but I don't know how intelligent they are. I just said that they were intelligent. (laughs) You know, I'm going to believe my computer when it tells me that it's uh, very smart. The game tells me they're very intelligent people. I would really like it if they actually said, some of these people are intelligent, and some of these are <laughs> morons. <laughs> some of these people think that they're just out here hunting a, 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 a yeti or something. Exactly. <laughs> One person is convinced that it is a yeti. Conv- the only way, He'll only agree to do stuff if you agree with him on his yeti <laughs> theory. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Like You have to have conversations with people to, to keep them on your side. Yeah, oh, again. It would, again, the thing concept would be great for anything. <laughs> a movie, game, mm-hmm. just do it. In front of you is the advanced junction box, and can only your engineer can fix this. To get your engineer to fix the advanced junction box, you need to first identify the junction box by walking up to it until its name appears, as you would for a basic junction box, but there are two ways that you can fix your engineer to fix it. First, if your engineer is close enough to the junction box, it will I can fix it appear will automatically appear above their heads. This will allow you to rock right up to him and press O, which will tell him to go fix it. Second way is to have your engineer do it. Okay, in the squad menu. I'm gonna try out the squad menu. Let's see. Which one of these dudes is my engineer? 
you because it actually says interact. All right. I was thinking about it, and I feel like the uh, Among Us is almost a perfect like simulator of the thing. But the only way that it would be better is if, like, instead of killing the other characters, you were like assimilating them and turning them also into aliens. Yes, I agree. I actually do think that a lot of Among Us is fun. Comic oh, did I lose you? No, I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> My internet's bad, but it shouldn't be that bad. Hello? Hey, there you are. You turned and into a robot. Yeah, my, my internet, not the greatest. God, that guy got completely screwed up. What is going on? Oh, Jesus. The squad mates are always conscious of their circumstances and the environment around them, and you, when you've seen too much, they will begin to lose it. When you have a squad member handling a situation, activate the squad menu, pressing try and pay attention to his picture. If he is doing okay, he'll casually be looking from left to right. If he's noticeably frightened, he'll be looking all around at a panic speed. If he's close to outright losing it and cracking up, he'll be shaken uncontrollably to reduce your squad member's fear. Try giving him a weapon or get him to follow you <laughs> out of the area. For sure, feel <laughs> Okay. On the one hand, like that's really funny to me that like the 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 way to cure their PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that guy is is freaking out. All right, the, all right. the way to cure his PTSD is to give him a weapon, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me. I gotta give give to squad member. Here is a pistol, my dude. <laughs> or a machine gun, actually. Let me give him the machine gun. All right, and then the ammo for it too. I think. Only have ammo in the slots. All right, so let me see if there's a way for me to. Maybe we need to just take him out of the room because I am giving him a weapon, but I actually don't know if it has any. Uh... Okay. Okay, right, no. right. All right, no. Well, he has the weapon now, so he's. Oh, he doesn't have any he's ammo for it. He is a little <laughs> freaking out. Are you okay, my dude? Yeah, all right, I'm okay. You, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> that was a lie. He is clear. <laughs> All right, now he's okay. He's a little bit better now. He, he's still a little yeah, freaked out. Yeah, he's kind of looking around. Yeah, but he's not, like, jittering back and forth, so. Yeah, <laughs> all right. But, yeah, the idea that just, like, hey, yo, give me the gun, please. <laughs> that would be mm -hmm. very useful right now. <laughs> like, on the one hand, no, don't give someone who's actively losing their mind a gun. But on <laughs> the other hand, the only thing that would make me feel better if there was a, like, Thing monster around would be access to a weapon, so maybe they have a point. Yes, exactly. I call it my uh, my natural instinct to survive kicks in, where I'm like, oh yeah, in general, don't give me a gun. But if I'm we're in a situation where the fucking alien race has decided to take over from the skies, give me the pistol. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, right, I'm exactly. not playing around. <laughs> access to the mental. Oh, nice. Is that like a? Myself and Gary. Is this a? Oh, that's I have cool. Come? Yeah. Oh, five page report from the Oscar of an anomalous score. Is this actually from it itself? Yeah. Because Gary's one of the characters in the movies. Oh, that is. In the cool. movie. Yeah, yeah. Access to medical supplies is limited to myself and Gary code 1138. So I think we have to use that code to get the medical supplies. All right. 1138. I can remember that. All right. This man, this man's body just got complete. The, the thing does not fuck around when it comes to dudes' bodies, it just completely no. eviscerates them. I mean, if we're going with movie canon, like, you guys should be setting that guy on fire because he could turn back into a monster at any moment. <laughs> I guess maybe yeah. your characters don't know that yet, though. No, we don't. Adrenaline hypnosis. You've picked up adrenaline hypnosis. In the situation where squad members are suffering from extreme stress, using an adrenaline hypnosis on them will calm them for a short time. So just drug them. To use an <laughs> adrenaline hypno on a squad member, press the L1 button to enter your inventory and then press the X button on the icon to the center of the screen to take it from your items. All right. If this comes up, <laughs> we will gladly shoot these dudes like it's Pulp Fiction full of adrenaline. <laughs> yeah, I know that Like when I'm trying to like calm down or maybe go to sleep, what I really like to do is it inject an entire syringe of adrenaline directly into my heart. Really helps me like ease off, you know? <laughs> yeah, it does. Alright, let me see. There we go, we got it. Yeah, so I did need to find that note in order to activate it. Ooh, metal school supplies. Ooh, nice. Thank you. All right, let's roll on, huh? He's got to be here somewhere. Let me see, can I do something with here? I can. I like how it changes cameras to say, like, hey, maybe something is going to show up here. Ooh, save mm -hmm. the game. Yeah. And you do it on actual audio recordings, which is nice. <laughs> that is cool. I do like that. Yeah. 
that's what McCready was doing every every couple scenes in the movie. Yeah, it is really astonishing to me that this game was just like that. Maybe just says something about the PS2 era where this game was just good. Was a movie right. license game good, and then immediately they never followed up on it. They're oh, like, man. okay, good. <laughs> oh, we said all we need to do with the thing. <laughs> yeah, we've done everything we need to. Let's move on. There's too many actual amazing games going on for us to focus too much on. There seems to be a there were a lot of really good games in the in the PS2 era, though. Now that I'm thinking like, about it, like yeah, what have you got? The One it's similar to um, oh, is that Childs? Yeah, it is. Oh god, that's that's so sad. It is very sad. Identified craft. It looks. I guess he wasn't a thing in the movie. Well, like it. Oh, <laughs> that's the reveal that he wasn't. <laughs> that is. Cruel. But wait, where's McCready? Roger. I'll have a chopper there that is a good question. He There's a supply somewhere. crate that was dropped earlier near the base. It contains C4 charges. I want you to rig all the remaining buildings, and I'll remote detonate them from here. Affirmative. Okay, I'll we're doing the Event Horizon. Horizon. We're just gonna blow the shit up out of everything and get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's man. The... <laughs> that is the ideal response to literally anything in a horror movie. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm I still that. love. I still love. Uh, not Samuel Jackson. What's his name? Um, uh, Florence, Florence Fishburne's. Fishburne. Yeah, his his like just f this ship. <laughs> that's yeah. that's so good. Just so done with it. It's such a good response. Uh-huh. Maybe Immediately. One of the best. It's, you know, if you just broaden your minds and experience, you, I want more like fantastic because Lawrence Fishburne has also been in stuff like, um, uh, you know, Boys to Men. Not Boys to Men. That's the name of the band. Like, what is <laughs> what is the name where Ice Cube plays D Boy? Menace, not Menace oh. Society. I don't think it's called that either. There's so m- The problem is, is that I'm thinking of, I'm getting them confused between them. Right. The one with Ricky in it. Uh, People should know what I'm talking about. It's made it's fun not, of it's not in... the Friday movie, is it? No. No, no it's not Friday. Thing. No, it's a, um, a completely different thing. Um, yeah. It's the same genre, though, <laughs> to be honest, to be fair. Right. <laughs> yeah. Boys from the Hood. There we go. In Boys to the Hood. There you um, go. Lawrence Fishburne is amazing in that, and more actors who have been in amazing movies should be in horror movies because it really actually tests how good of an actor you are if you're given a horror movie and you're told to do just do the absolute best you can. <laughs> That's the true <laughs> it's, test of your abilities. Especially if that movie is like Her- Event Horizon, which is not a good movie, even though I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a it is a put in quotes good movie, <laughs> not an actually <laughs> good movie. <laughs> It's the kind of movie that you want to like, like put on in a party and watch every now and then. Not the kind of movie you want to pay close attention to. No, because it it completely falls apart. Did you know that there was originally like a I think a like three hour cut of that movie? Are you serious? Yeah, there was a bunch of like missing scenes. Like the hell scene used to be way longer. I want to say you know like all good movies. It's one of those movies who where the director had the good idea of like, what if I hired actual like porn stars to do the sex scene? <laughs> and just like Caligula, it worked out fantastic for everyone involved. And so he... <laughs> <laughs> I guess they just wouldn't let him go that that hard with it, huh? No, they didn't, and he got pissed because he's like, I have to cut this. And then the studio's like, you're damn right you're going to cut this. <laughs> what <do I> do? <laughs> and so he cut it, but there oh, was like man. a whole bunch of other scenes that were just completely cut from the movie. That um... Wait, go back in there for a second. Oh, okay. Go back in here. Isn't that where the, the spaceship was before? Huh. I don't... Th- I, the, the, we're in the same area as a spaceship, for sure, but I don't... Okay. I don't Maybe think they, it's, they they got in it and flew away. Yeah, let me look at my objective real quick. Yeah, that would that would be like actually blow up all a, the buildings or something. Yeah, I need to find where to put place them. Um, in the like, infirmary, it, active in the radio room, active. Okay. I forget if this is one of those games that's gonna actually give me a map. I'm gonna say no based off of everything I've seen so far. If so, it would give you like a, a thirty page intro into how to read a map. It would. Let me see, where is this? Oh, there's one of the tape recorders. I'm gonna hide Ooh. this tape when I'm finished. Oh! If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of a record. The storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. Nice! So I think this is actually from the movie, maybe. One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you <laughs> over. 
Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. He's totally that thing is totally a thing, isn't it? We're all very awesome. tired. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. RJ McCready, helicopter pilot, US outpost North 31. Yeah, that's not actually Kurt Russell. They they re-recorded that for this, but yeah, I wish they had just used the the <laughs> like audio from the movie. That would have been great. That would have been great. Unfortunately, I think the weirdness with certain game licenses were like, we can't actually afford Kurt Russell, <laughs> so we're right. not going to do Kurt Russell. <laughs> not even like, we can't afford Kurt Russell. We can't afford to use the license to use his voice again. <laughs> Exactly. We'd, <laughs> we would have to ask permission for us to use the thing that he did once, and that's just not going to work <laughs> maybe, out. Maybe that's why we were only able to see Keith David for about two seconds, is they were like, okay, we can we can afford Keith David. Not Curry Russell, but Keith David, he'll do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Keith David, one of my favorite characters from Saints Row 4, who plays Vice President Keith David, <laughs> actual Keith oh, David. Oh, God, he did, didn't he? Oh, man, that was amazing. I love those games. Yeah, the the Saints Row 4 also has that scene where the, he's redoing Day Live. They actually got Roddy Roddy right. Piper. I think it's the last thing Roddy Roddy Piper did before he unfortunately passed. It's either that oh, or I it's always that. sunny between those two. But, yeah, they did, did they just full-on redid, <laughs> redid the fight from Day Live. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. That is that is one of those like epic fights that like if you just watch it in in like just on its own, it's not that great, but watching it as a part of the movie, it really is a very fun absurd fight scene. It really is. It also really drives home just how much Keith David did not have any time for him and for his notions of like you need to put on the glasses. And just like a mm -hmm. real person, when someone tells you, you should put on his glasses because uh, it's the entire world. Because <laughs> aliens. Over. Yeah, because aliens have taken over the world and, you know, Reaganomics. And then he goes on a weird <laughs> rant and <laughs> you go like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh, no. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> more, no. <laughs> more of those conversations should lead to fistfights. That's that's my stance, personally. Yeah, especially uh, one all like that. All political conversations should have to end with a fist fight. It would make it would make political debates real fun. It would. It would also show who actually cares about what they say if they're willing to put up their dukes. <laughs> That's true. Them. It's like I actually don't care that much about this specific topic, so we're just gonna let it go. And also, it would also make I'm, Twitter like a hundred times more bearable. <laughs> it would. At that point, it just become world star. <laughs> the constant beatdowns every other day. I need to go back right. to the infirmary. I need to remember which way it was, though. I think it's back behind you. I think you're heading back towards the helicopter stuff again right now. So this I think it might, you might need to go, like, through there and, like, through another door inside there if there is one. I think so? Because, yeah, this is where the first sea charge was put down. Right. I think. Okay, so let me check my objective. What about that? Hey, wait a minute. Where's, what okay, about that door on the right there? Which one? The door on, uh, it's, like, directly behind you now. Directly ahead now. So turn to your left. Wait. Right okay. there. Get that the, door. That door for here? Let me see. Maybe. Oh, yeah, there is another door. This is the door we went through through the other way, right? Oh, let me open it for my is dudes it? here. Oh, yeah, you, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, no, you're right. You want to go the other way. Because this leads to, to where you picked up the explosives. Yeah, gang accident infirmary to C4 explosives. Plant C4 in the infirmary. We have to go to the radio room. So I think that's like the first room you came to, wasn't it? Or was it... Which one was the radio room? I have my gun equipped. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not 100% sure what the radio room is. We might have been already been in there. Let me see. I just realized, hmm. I think I gave my dude my good gun. And now I just have this <laughs> pistol. I was wondering why you gave him the machine gun. <laughs> you know, at the time, I thought I was giving him the bad gun. So that's a, you, my bad. You just wanted him to feel extra secure. You're like, hey, you know what? I'm so sure that you. I want you to know that I'm not the thing, that I want to give you the really good gun. The, the thing would never actually do that. No, it's true. The thing would never do that. I didn't give him any of the bullets because I'm not 100% sure how to give him the bullets. But if I knew how <laughs> to give him the bullets, I would have given him the bullets. I do like that, like, since you gave him that gun, he has constantly been like, hey, uh, bullets? By the way, bullets? Can, <laughs> can anyone see any bullets? bullets? Here? Like an actual <laughs> multiplayer game, he's constantly wondering when he's going to get some bullets. Right, and I mean, he is the medic. He's the one who would get shit on in an actual multiplayer game. <laughs> he would. He would just constantly get it. So let me go through here. 
Maybe for I like the implication of this game that if you walk inside a place that is not actively freezing currently, <laughs> you will instantly be fully restored to full heat. Isn't video game logic a thing of beauty? Just mm-hmm. like in uh, when I was playing Fatal Frame with D Free, when it gave me the ability to upgrade my camera uh, <laughs> just out of nowhere, and it said you can shoot b- pictures real good. I just said, this era of video games was magical, because they did not actually care to explain how you were able to do this. <laughs> is Fatal Frame the one that's like Death Note, but it's a camera instead or something? Not Death Note. It is, it's the one where you're uh, in a spooky mansion, and you have to capture ghosts. You can only attack ghosts by like taking pictures of them. And then when you nice. take pictures of them... Uh, Either they take some damage or some other stuff. Some of them can actually just only be... This is where the spaceship was. That's right, yeah. Right, we found oh, spaceship. wait, is that a radio there? Oh, what? It's not a radio, is it? Let me check. No, it looks like a hotline. Oh, okay. That or a computer, maybe. Okay. That's a, that's a shitty spaceship there, uh, Wilford Brimley. Come on, you can do better than that. <laughs> he was doing the best with what the, the body he had, <laughs> which was just Wilford Brimley. <laughs> See, His mu- he didn't have the mustache he wasn't at full power no he did not oh god oh you know what I, th- I remember coming through oh, here so that yeah. must mean yeah follow that back that way see if that, that leads you where that leads you somewhere here I'm following a lot of the lights because I'm pretty sure the lights <laughs> is the way to go back but when you're in a- this is just like actually going to Antarctica because there's just shit everywhere okay. <laughs> almost oh oh wait no I think this this is maybe it? Yeah, I remember this at least. I remember this too, but I'm almost positive we are back to where we were at the beginning. Yeah, maybe you are. Shit, yep, yep, you are. Yeah. So <laughs> This is the joy of, of early gaming of like the 90s and 2000s of like, you have no clear path to anywhere you're trying to get to. <laughs> no, exactly. Zero idea of what I'm doing, so I'm going to see... If I can maybe go off the beaten path, if I can find a better way. The craziest thing is that I totally did follow these blue lights to the path. I am unable to follow the blue lights back to the right path. Right. So let me okay, go. yeah, no, this just leads you back to where the spaceship thing is. Yeah. I um, stay outside in the cold too long because I'm going to freeze to death. But let me right. see if I explore out here for a little bit and see what I can find. <laughs> walls. You can find walls. <laughs> a lot of walls. PS2 walls. Mm-hmm. Big fog. I am surprised that, like, if they got the rights to make a game for the thing once, I'm surprised they didn't make another one. It would be... It, I feel like this era of gaming, you could now do some really cool stuff with it. Yeah. I think the, the main issue that a lot of people seem to have with it is the fact that it is a movie license game, and nobody wants mm-hmm. to try that because, like, immediately everyone knows that... Um, there's been so many bad movie license games yeah. that, like, no one wants to take that shot. Yeah, yeah. it poisons the well a little bit. So I'm mm-hmm. thinking, okay, we can definitely add that C charge and then... I'm going to try through here one more time and see if I can find something. Um, okay. Yeah, it does, definitely just kind of poisons the well and no one wants to try. Similar to how, I guess, video game movies, everyone just automatically assumes that they're going to be bad no matter what. And I mean, nine times out of ten they are correct, so... What yeah, about what? Well, maybe that maybe that little cabin there is what you're trying to blow up. That would be real messed up. We're just gonna blow this man's entire house down. He doesn't have much. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> We're gonna just smoke mean, yeah. his house too. <laughs> All right. Nope. Wait. I guess not. No. You know what's gonna end up happening is that I am in fact going to have to look up exactly where to go. Mm -hmm. figure it out because i remember getting here that's the thing that's making me angry it's just like actually being lost somewhere where you're like exactly remember being here now hansel and gretel style i'm going back following the lights but going back following the lights leads me back to here somehow (laughs) like some kind of terrible Mm -hmm. mind puzzle (laughs) uh this this is this is what the thing would actually be like if you were in that movie it wouldn't be all like (laughs) you trying to figure out who the monsters is it would just be sitting around going back and forth from place to place. They're like, no, we were here already. Yeah, I don't want to go back. Shoot me now, I guess, if we're going to just keep doing this traversal shit. <laughs> because I don't, I'd rather <laughs> die than do too much walking in Antarctica. 
<laughs> this is award-winning video gaming in, in the early 2000s. <laughs> Be glad that we've come as far as we have, kids. Exactly. Let me see. I feel like there's something there. Oh, all right, this? dude, you need to calm down, first of all. We all have been out here for the same number of time. I see my blue meter. I can't see your blue meter, but I'm going to assume your blue meter is just as the same length as mine. <laughs> so I'm going to need you to shut your mouth real quick. The blue meter is just your junk slowly retracting into your body <laughs> to, to conserve heat. Oh, God. That would actually be terrifying. Never mind. We actually have to find a place to stay if that's what's happening. Right. <laughs> I'm going to look oh. up exactly where to go. Field manual? Maybe this is... Command your weapons. Oh, no, this is the actual field. I was hoping for a... Um... Map. <laughs> Something oh, useful. View keys, view documents, C4. Just to be sure that there's nothing else here. Everything that I want when I'm on an adventure. Do keys, documents, C4. <laughs> yeah, the main thing here. Okay. Yes, let me find it exactly where to go. I'm sure I can. <laughs> Hello, everyone. All right, we're back after doing that chick quick check. You want to know where it was the entire time? Get ready for this reveal, everyone. You're not going to be ready for this. I so, I'm, I'm so just glad. as excited as you guys are. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided that I'm going to edit this. <laughs> because I am not about to have this go off and people see the full 20 minutes of me being an idiot. <laughs> all right, let me see. But they'll miss out on our excellent B-roll. No, don't worry. I'll include all the good B-roll. Ready? Are you ready for this? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, my God. Are you... <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, no. I'm so mad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to PS2 Gaming at its finest. I shouldn't be oh. blaming the game because I should be blaming myself for not remembering. But also, come on. <laughs> it was it was not my fault. All right, let's see. Oh, I bet the, the guy... Is this where the guy was? Because he, uh, he might come out and jump and stab you or something. No, that was a different uh, this, room. This is the radio room, right? Yes, okay. Right, yeah. There it is. Boom. Return to the evil right. point. This I should remember. Oh, God. You opened the door right in front of me, buddy. Need you to not do that what anymore, had, guy. What if he had to go all the way back to where like the C4 pickup was? Uh, let me talk to my dude real quick, because I think you have my gun. <laughs> you aren't freaking out, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna need my gun back now. Oh, shit. Let me go here. Gonna take... Okay, so I'm gonna give... Okay, it looks like I actually did have two pistols. Yeah, you There's had... There's some pistol ammo there. He has some pistol ammo now. Now you can stop complaining about it, dude. Are oh, you still complaining about or it? Or not. <laughs> man, this man, I swear. You give a man a pistol ammo, and he'll always ask you for more pistol ammo. Teach a man how to <laughs> make pistol ammo, and... And he'll shoot other people for pistol ammo. <laughs> as the great Sun Tzu once said. <laughs> exactly those <laughs> words. <laughs> what a brilliant strategist he was. Yeah, it's like incredible that he knew about guns back then. Yeah, he's like, one day there's going to be guns. Just you watch. <laughs> All right, so the evac point. We have to go back to the evac Actually, wait. point. They were, they were like Chinese. That's where guns originated. So maybe he, he knew about guns to begin with. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. You, it's kind of hard to forget because sometimes I also forget. Wait, was that my gun? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we need to go to the evac point now. The point. The question is, where was the evac? Point? Was the evac point at like the start of it, or was it maybe actually back where where the C four was? Good question. I'm gonna go over here, and let's say we will find the evac point eventually. If we follow the light long enough, now that we know that this is the way through here, it's fair. Be yeah, fine. it's not. It's not as far as I thought it was. Yeah. Let's see. Mm, it's definitely not in here because we're blowing this thing up. Right, so right. We'll probably go through here. Hopefully, it's not that you know busted up airplane right there or helicopter. Yeah, hopefully not. Unless it turns out it really was all the way back there. In which case, we're just. <laughs> oh God. No. 
No. All right, the true despair you... was playing the thing game. <laughs> Uh, yes, this was actually the, the plan all along to scare you, was to show the scary <laughs> heights of what the PS2 once was. <laughs> Rick, remember your childhood is the scariest <laughs> thing I can do to you. <laughs> remember carefully. All right, let me see. It should be showing... Okay, it looks like the evac point was back from... Okay... Let me see, just to be sure of where the evac point is. Because I'm almost positive it's back where the helicopter is, but just to be sure, and so I don't have to do 5,000 trips to somewhere. Right, right, right. to see exactly where the game says the evac point was. Because when they told me where the evac point was, that was like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> That's a long right. time ago in game playing experience. And you had to learn th important things like how to give ammo to squad mates in that time as well, so, you know. Exactly. Okay, let's see. Just to be sure where this man is going. Go, go. It looks like the evac point was... Yeah, it was that helicopter where we got the... Oh, God. We have to go to where it's like red. Oh, where like the C4 stuff is? Yeah, kind of in that general area. We should know it yeah, because okay. it'll, it'll be different from all the rest of it. Right. At least you were heading in the right direction then. So yeah, that's yeah. good. I had the right idea, just not the right execution of it. Right. All right. So let's see. Go through here. I have to just find. It's through where the, the save point was as well, so should be in here. Or was it the other way? This is where the save point was, right? Yes, yes it was. So let me quickly hit that save button. There we go. I will do neither of these things. All right. <laughs> Boom. Right here. It's like you have won the thing game now. Yeah, this is where actually like, the credits will roll. Colonel, the feel good the ending will play. Standing That's right. For Eva. McCready comes out, Eva bringing all his friends. <laughs> yeah, everyone from the previous thing comes out, gives you a big hug. Must be. <laughs> uh, uh, child just kind of is resurrected. Ah, oh, thank you for <laughs> bringing me back to life <laughs> with that C4. When the child yeah, arrives, it's all I needed. I'll have it drop me it's between that and oatmeal. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> you have your orders, Captain. Don't put this mission in jeopardy. I understand, Colonel, but I don't have much choice. I understand, Colonel. The team is in trouble. Besides, <laughs> if there are any survivors, I'm the only one on the team that speaks Norwegian. Really? You brought one dude <laughs> who knows Norwegian? I guess, to be fair, where are you going to find a lot of dudes who specifically want this job and also speak Norwegian? Right. Presumably Norway. That's maybe where. But yeah. that's, far, that's far away. It's pretty dangerous. So who wants you want to take a bet whether or not the thing is going to? Blake, do you read me? Roger, Colonel. This is Blake. Uh oh. Have you found anyone yet? Nothing yet. I just arrived. The storm is worsening. It may take a while to find anything. Looks like that little stunt of yours might pay off. I don't understand, Colonel. I received a partial transmission from Pierce. He's found something. Might be research. Find him and get back to me ASAP. Affirmative. Did he say if there were any hostiles in the area? Negative. No hostiles. Okay, I'm on it. Blake out. Light poles. Light poles ex exist to guide people from one location to another when blizzards hamper visibility. <laughs> We've been using those the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the game's like, listen, we saw how you played. We don't think that you're actually <laughs> using this correctly. <laughs> We're going to put in a few extra light poles for you because, uh, damn, man. Damn. <laughs> All right. I'm going to assume I can't go through here, but if I'm very... Did I die? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even, like, show, like, what happened. <laughs> it, was, it was very funny when he's like, I better avoid that and <laughs> me like, go in. 
<laughs> he's like, I've seen the worst of this game. It's not going to go well for me. Let me just go ahead and end this right now. Yeah. All right, light poles. Remember. Christ, that's got to be a few thousand volts. I got to find the power source. Oh, you mean this? Oh, that's not the power source. I'm actually kind of surprised that that wasn't the answer. <laughs> the answer was hey, You would something. think, like, it would be something like that, yeah. I'm just surprised that the base is this big. I do not remember it being, like, this absurdly <laughs> gigantic. Yeah, this thing is huge when you look at it this way. <laughs> do I have my gun? Dude, did you really jump off that plane with no gun? You left it on the damn that, plane? That was not wise, my friend. It's a very dumb decision on your part. <laughs> Alright. Oh god. There it is. Okay, thank god. He's not. <laughs> Got no ammo for this level. Okay, where is it? Oh, uh oh. Cutscene, that's where all the bad stuff happens. It is. Identify yourself. Captain, it's Carter. Christ, where's everybody? What happened here? Some. I don't know what they were. But they attacked us. I thought they was part of the, the... 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 Wait a minute. Don't you come any closer. Where the hell did you come from anyways? A chopper brought me in. From the U.S. research station. Five clicks south of here. Ah. Uh, I'm hurt pretty bad. Don't move. I'll see what I can do. It doesn't trust us. If you are in a squad member is injured and no medic is available, you do have the ability to heal them on your own using medical kits. Squad members will indicate their need to help by showing the one need health icons over their hands. When this is visible, you can automatically use a medical kit on the injured squad member if they approach him, pressing O. Alternatively, if you equip a medical kit, you can heal an NPC by approaching them, pressing square, or use it to yourself when there are no other squad members to heal. See how much health. All right, we should be good here. I think I got it. Oh, I was about to shoot him. I don't want to shoot him. <laughs> All right. I mean, to be fair, if this is the, the universe of the thing, that might be the best choice for everyone. Yeah. Carter isn't sure if he trusts you or not. Crop away with you until he does. Try giving him a weapon or some ammunition. Okay. So let me see. He doesn't fully trust me. So let's select. Now you go here. Yeah. Let's give this man. Here you go. Here's a machine gun. I don't have any ammo for it. But you may have my machine gun. <laughs> yeah, and he trusts us a lot more after giving him a machine gun with no ammo. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> you no. you should not trust people just for giving you a machine gun with no ammo when he has a gun with ammo. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not the smartest. Closed circuit TVs are useful information for gathering tools. Okay. Let's see what else. Is it where, where was it right here? I didn't see anything there. Lab junction box? Yeah. Engineer. We need the engineer. Is he an engineer? Oh, I need to tell him to follow me. <laughs> They're intelligent. They're not that intelligent, though. Yeah, I need to tell him to start follow. Follow me, dude. Yes, sir. There we go. Don't look so to be bad. fair, he did just go through some some bad stuff. I need an engineer. That's true. <laughs> sir, are you an engineer? Can you engineer yourself some bullets? Apparently not. I need an engineer. Okay. Oh, maybe he's not there, one. There, that, there he looks he like he's... Oh, okay. there, there you go, there you go. I press O again. <laughs> this is where I take him down now. I've used him for what I've needed. <laughs> Just immediately shoot him like it's in the, the beginning of the Batman movie. <laughs> yes, exactly like that. Alright, let's interact and see what's up. We're all going crazy. This thing in the ice. Don't know who is human, who isn't. Morale is low and don't think our chances are good. Save game. It's funny that this needs memory to actually record your voice. Mm hmm How technology has changed. There's gotta be something in here that can help me. Okay, so we're looking for the Oh shit. Is there a body? 
Yep, right there. Let's see. You have to look for something that he thinks. There's us. So that's where he is because he's over there looking for ammo. That's how I know that's oh, us. Oh, right. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Other than that, I don't know if there's anything else I need to really be looking oh, for. Oh, wait. Is, look down. Look down. There's another dude right there. Look down. Is this... This is where the the thing was in the movie where it came out of the ice block, I bet. Oh yeah. But there's a dude right there, right? May yeah. Yeah, I think so. He's kind of freaking don't... out. All right, we need to go save our dude. I don't know if he's right through here. No. Okay. Pick up that a little bit. What else to find? What else to find? Really, it doesn't let me go through. Huh. There has to be something here that... I'm not noticing. Right. He said I need help with something, but... Oh, duh. I can zoom in. Oh, that's cool. Who is that? I don't know. I don't think anyone died in there in the movie, at least. That's totally one of our dudes. Yeah, look at him. Standing yeah. there. What's he doing there? <laughs> He's just kind of Maybe we got to go help him somehow? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, in this weather, yes. That is exactly what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, he is by definition chilling. Also, do not mm -hmm. trust him because he is literally just standing there. Menacingly. <laughs> right. All right. Let's go out and see if we can save our dude. Or more likely, find out what the hell is he doing out here. Right? Can't open the door. It is awfully suspicious. <laughs> it would hard to be more. It would hard to be more suspicious than that. Yeah, there's not like a lot of suspicious things you can do, and that's one of them. It's where there's a dead body. You're just kind of standing there. Mm-hmm. All right, follow the blue lights. Oh shit! It's looking at us. It's got oh. Like it's got like bad. Oh, I don't like that. No, <laughs> I didn't feel really, because I have my two things out right now. My dude looks <laughs> weird. Holy wood bed kit, it is good. <laughs> you can have one or the other. I can heal you or I can hurt you. One or two. Maybe I'll occasionally do both. See how I feel at that given moment. Let me see if I can go up through here. I feel like if I could go up for here. So yeah, this is where he is. That's where I saw through the camera monitor. Right. Then I can go through oh. here. Is our dude following us? He is not following us. I don't know where he He's went. He's just going to freeze out here in the, in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if he actually followed us all the way through out here. But I'm going to guess he's going to be in this room. He is an intelligent man, after all. He's going to. Right. What? Oh. Oh, you need ammo. Yeah, you do need ammo, but I'm not going to give you ammo for I have no ammo to give. <laughs> okay, so. What the hell? Oh. Oh, oh, that's gross. What's that? Don't. What the hell? Is it a little? What... <laughs> I can't it look like at it. It like a little it. head with legs. Yeah, it's like a little. I guess a little thingamabob? It's not the actual thing. <laughs> it's just a thingamabob instead of a thing. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so this is where we need to go through. This is where we need. This door, this way is locked. As far as I can tell, no way to go through there. Oh! Donald oh that's Donald. cool. Yeah, I'm... Oh, oops! I didn't mean to shoot the TV <laughs> in anger. Okay, so we need to remember that. Four six nine two, but I think all I need to do is just like go up to that place and hit him with the. Yeah. Okay. Smart. There you go. I knew there was something I wasn't doing. There's more in here. Oh no. Giant ice block. He oh, there's our guy. Blade. Yeah. Where'd you come from? I received some partial transmissions from Pierce. It sounded like there was a problem. Shit, you got that right. 
We got ambushed by these things. I don't know where they came from, man. Everybody lost it. The squad split up. Have you talked to Pierce? I got part of a radio message from him. He said he was at the north section of the base. He was talking some... some medical mumbo shit. He said he wanted to talk to the colonel. The colonel hasn't contacted you? Man, I haven't heard shit from anyone. Let me try my radio. Blake to Colonel Whitley, do you read? Blake to Colonel Whitley, urgent. Oh, that's bad. All right, let's head north and get Pierce. You're in no way suspicious and someone that I should probably not trust. Yeah. All right, dude, I need you to... Is he following me? Just to be sure. Okay. <laughs> He's giving me a okay. like, okay. Power grid controls, they're completely destroyed. I need an engineer, my dude. Are you an engineer? An engineer. Can you? All right. Thank you. Go, my engineer man. Go here. I need an engineer. I need an engineer. My engineer? There we go. Yes, I had to talk to him and tell him specifically. It was not enough for me to out loud say, I need an engineer. He needed to be told. <laughs> Very smart AI. Exactly. Again, I am kind of in some ways making fun of the smart AI, but for a PS2 game, this is actually kind of impressive. For all Yeah, I, I bet this was like mind-blowing at the time. Yeah. You just, even for, if you were around for this era of games, there weren't just games like this, especially on a console. It's not really something mm -hmm. you do. And even if it did have, like, a radio menu like that, usually you were completely in control. Like, some, oh god! Shoot. I like that your guys have no questions about what just happened. <laughs> he just says, I need more bullets. <laughs> and I agree with that <laughs> statement. I don't have that is bullets. entirely true, yes. Absolutely. Oh god, I only have three bullets left, really? What the hell am I gonna do when they're gone? Huh. Big fire, so can't go through there. Shit. Okay. Shit, <laughs> I wasted one of my bullets. <laughs> all right. You all good? You guys don't need bullets. Okay. Do you have a gun, my dude? He does not have a gun. I'm gonna give him <laughs> all these bullets. Oh no, I need that back. Actually, give give that back. <laughs> I'm gonna give you this the machine gun. There you go. There we go. Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh jeez. They're so oh, gross looking with their little faces. They are. Oops, I think I accidentally shoot my dude. <laughs> I, shot my, I shot my dude, which I should not have been doing. God, they're everywhere now. They went from like not being here to suddenly they're only here. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're fine. I think we need to go out this way. Not that way. The uh, the way through the cold. Was it this way? No, we can't go through that way now. So that place is com completely overrun by like fire. So I don't know how the hell we're gonna get out of here now. <laughs> you guys got any ideas? I've got about I've got about ten more minutes, and then I probably need to hit to pack up and go to sleep. So all right, fair just enough. so you know. By the, that ten minutes, I will gladly have figured out a way to end here. Oh god! Oh, don't get murdered. <laughs> Where are they coming? They're never ending. <laughs> you need ammo. I need you to stop giving me back sass. How about that? <laughs> oh duh. Can you like? There oh, we go. There you go. <laughs> Gaming. The most useful tool in any Antarctic explorer's pocket: yes. the fire extinguisher. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I believe in us now. We're in full yeah. control. Heading you got the... this. Exactly. So let me look at my objective real quick. Stop changing out my guns. 
<laughs> I like how I keep saying it. I keep doing it. I said it's not on purpose. I swear. <laughs> Gain access points in north section active. Okay. You're now ever gonna get your bullets. You seem to be able to shoot <laughs> that gun without the bullets. So I really need you to stop giving me sass on this. Okay, I remember where to go now. That's right, we went through the electric circuit, so we have to go through there. I was like trying to think. Oh, about that, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just fixed that. All right. Come on, James. This shit is whack. I agree. <laughs> we very smart AI has realized in his computing process that this situation is whack as fuck, and I agree. <laughs> I would not want to be in any situation like this. No, absolutely not. Cell intruder. Assimilation. Complete. Complete. Killing thing beast. As you have already experienced, the small thing beast can easily be dealt with using normal weaponry. However, any other form of the thing requires two stage attacks. Firstly, you'll need to use normal weapons to reduce its health. The thing's health is shown by the color of the auto-aiming target with red representing the lowest possible. Once the thing is at a minimal health with a flamethrower, finish it off. Only fire yeah. can actually kill the thing beast, so make sure to look for incendiary weapons and keep a good stock at all times. You know, me personally, I think I would open with the uh, flamethrower, but, you know, you, you, you do you. You do you on this case. Ooh, these lights are all out. Can only mean one thing, they don't want us going here. <laughs> it's not going to stop me, though. Of course not. Oops. Any good video game player knows that they have to, like, go to literally every place they possibly can. Exactly. Oh, sh <laughs> that stupid thing was in there. I like to, I want to know that little thing's plan of like, haha, I'm in the Arctic. I will wait until the final moment when I can when something finally comes here. And it just sits there it, for like six months. It was literally Very just cold. hiding in the bag. His mm -hmm. only purpose was to scare us for that brief moment <laughs> of entering a door. I kind of respect it for it, though. There's a level of dedication. Yes. All right, can't go through here. We can't climb that window. Okay, you say that as you're shooting, so I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> does this building have any doors? It does, it has one right here. Oh, there it is, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can... Maybe I have to use the key. No, this is my adrenaline hip now. <laughs> Maybe you need to just give yourself enough adrenaline to punch through the door. Exactly. Okay, there's another way. I was about to say. Which way did we did we go through that way or this way? This oh, I have no idea. Alright, I'm going this way. Just follow the northern star. It has to <laughs> north has to be somewhere. What is that? Well, that's not Oh, that's enough. a lot of them. Yeah, and it sounds like there's another one here too. They sound oh, like no. Do you have a flamethrower yet to kill it? You gotta get it. You need to get inside somewhere. So you're gonna. My engineer friend. Open. Open. Do it. We are literally freezing to death. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> Open the door. What are you doing? Yes, sir. Very intuitive controls here. <laughs> what are you doing? Open the fucking door. We're going to die. <laughs> Literally in sec. Oh, oh, oh. Is he going to do it in time? <laughs> God damn it. You are dead. I want, I want. And then he opens the door as a fucking <laughs> insult to my injury. <laughs> to your death. <laughs> exactly. All right. I think this is where we're going to call it. I think this game's really neat. It's a shame we could not find the bigger thing, but I do like the idea of them <laughs> releasing this game, it being very well liked, being people saying, this is awesome, and then never following up on it. Mm-hmm, never at all. Yeah, no, this was, this was a lot of fun. We should do this again sometime. Yeah, of course, for sure. It was a lot of fun hanging out, but thank you very much, everyone, for watching this video. We will continue on with more 13 Nights of Halloween. Once again, my guest is Rick Fox. He's a cool dude. You should follow his stuff if you enjoyed his presence here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Say goodbye, Rick. Uh, goodbye, Rick.
There we go. You are now the second person to actually end the video that way. I think of the guest, it's you and Spoot have been the only person. I keep telling that joke to Zen, and Zen just goes, okay, bye. And I'm like, no, just once. <laughs> that sounds like Zen, though. He he would ruin that joke. That, that feels on brand. <laughs> to be fair, it is. All right, goodbye, everyone. <laughs>